Hi gang, welcome to this lesson titled Debits and Credits. In this lesson, we are going to distinguish which account we should debit and which account we should credit. Before we start, we should keep in mind our accounting equation map. Now let's look at Happy Store's transactions. The first transaction in Happy Store reads as follows. Happy pays for stationery via a check for 335 Namibian dollars. First we need to decide which two items are involved. The one is stationery and since Happy is paying with a check, it's bank. Now let's go to our accounting equation map bank is an asset and he's giving out money and if we follow our accounting equation map when an asset decreases we need to put it on the credit side and stationery is an owner's equity item it's an outflow because money is flowing out of the bank account therefore we should debit our stationery account so check is an asset the asset decreases we should credit the bank stationery is an owner's equity item it's an outflow so we should debit stationery. So our transaction will look like this. Debit stationery 335, credit bank 335. Let's look at number two. Happy decides to buy some moving equipment. The equipment costs 42,000. He pays this also with a check. So from our first example, the bank will have the same effect. Let's look at our accounting equation map. Assets decrease resulting in a credit of the bank account. But what does Happy buy? He buys some equipment, some moving equipment. Equipment is an asset. And if we look at our accounting equation map, if our asset increases, then we should debit that account. So our answer will look like this. Debit our equipment account with 42,000 and credit our bank account with 42,000. Let's look at number three. Happy, which is the owner, took 450 Nobian dollars cash for his personal use. Now what two accounts are involved here? Since Happy is the owner, if he takes cash for his personal use, then we call that drawings. So drawings is the first item. The second item is cash because he is taking cash out of the business. Cash is also an asset. And if we look at our accounting equation map, if an asset decreases, we put it on the credit side. Drawings is an owner's equity item. It's also an outflow because money is flowing out of the business. Therefore, drawings should be debited. Our answer will then look like this. Debit drawings 450 and credit cash 450. Then finally, let's look at number four. Services rendered to Jack worth 12,500. Check pays via electronic transfer. The two items involved here is services rendered, which is an income, and bank. All transactions that are done via electronic transfer is related to the bank. Bank is the one item and services rendered is another item. Bank again is an asset. Now our bank increased. If an asset increase, then we need to debit the asset. Services rendered is an owner's equity item. Services rendered results in an inflow of funds to the company, so we should credit services rendered. So our last transaction will look like this. So that's our lesson for today. Please remember, before completing any transaction, whether to debit or create a transaction, look at your accounting equation map. Your accounting equation map will make it much easier. Thank you for watching. For more lessons, check out our website at www.beatagmath.com or you can also find us on YouTube.